Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, DEFA fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 16 units. This side length uh, AD is uh, 18 and finally this side length uh, BC is 14 and moreover this segment AF equals to this segment FB. In other words F is the midpoint and furthermore these angles this angle this angle and this angle are 90 degrees each and now our task is to calculate the area of this green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I am going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. So therefore I have uh, connected uh, this point E with these uh, vertices A and uh, B. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment uh, equal to this uh, segment and this is a 90 degree angle. So therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, AE is going to be congruent uh, to this side length uh, BE. Let me call uh, this uh, AE side length uh, as uh, lowercase c. Likewise, uh, this uh, another side length uh, BE as uh, lowercase c as well. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this uh, side length uh, as uh, x units. We know this whole uh, side length is 16. So therefore this segment EC is going to be 16 minus X. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle ADE. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is x. So this is going to become uh, x square plus b is 18 whole square equal to C square. Let's go ahead and simplify so we can write uh, x square plus uh, 324 equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, equation as uh, equation number one. And now let's focus on another right triangle uh, BCE. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again. And here's our Pythagorean formula once again a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 16 minus x whole square plus b in our case is 14 whole square equal to c square. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. I'm going to apply it on this uh, binomial. So therefore this is going to become uh, 256 minus uh, 32x plus uh, x square and then 14 square is 196 equal to c square. Let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms. So therefore we can write this one as uh, x square minus uh, 32x plus 452 equals to c square. Let me go ahead and call uh, this as our equation uh, number two. So therefore we are ended up with this uh, equation one and uh, two. And now let's go ahead and compare these uh, two equations. We can see the right hand sides are c square. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand side uh, as well. So therefore I can write uh, x square plus uh, 324 equals to x square minus 32x plus 450. 
2 and now we can see this x square and x square is gone. Let me go ahead and move this 324 to the right hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this 32x on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and write it down. So I can write 32x equals to 452 minus 324. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 32. This and this is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 4 units. So therefore our this segment DE is going to be 4 since x equal to 4 and this segment EC is going to be 16 minus 4 is going to give us 12. So therefore our this segment DE is 4 and this segment EC is 12 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus once again on this right triangle BCE. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, BCE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case uh, our base is uh, 12 and our height uh, is uh, 14. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle uh, BCE. So I'm going to call area equals to a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 12 times uh, height is uh, 14 and if we simplify the right uh, hand side uh, this turns out to be 84. So therefore the area of this triangle BCE turns out to be 84 uh, square units. And here's our next step. Uh, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADE and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle ADE and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times the uh, base times the uh, height in our case our base uh, is 4 and our height uh, is uh, 18 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle ADE is going to be a half times the uh, base is 4 and height is uh, 18 so therefore area of this uh, triangle uh, turns out to be 36. So therefore the area of this triangle ADE turns out to be 36 square units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two right triangles AFE and the other right triangle BFE. And we can see that these two right triangles are congruent triangles according to side 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 congruency theorem. Since uh, these uh, two side lengths uh, are equal, these uh, side lengths are uh, congruent and this uh, side length uh, is in common. So therefore we conclude that their uh, area is uh, congruent uh, as well. If I call the area of this triangle as uh, S, then the area of this other triangle is going to be S as well. And now let's recall the definition of the trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. So therefore we conclude that this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD is uh, indeed a trapezoid. So the area inside uh, this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD is going to be the sum of these individual areas 36 plus S plus S plus uh, 84. So let me go ahead and write down uh, 36 uh, plus uh, area S plus area S once again plus uh, 84. So therefore the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD if we combine these like terms is going to be 120 plus uh, 2 times uh, S. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height H times A plus B all over 2. And in our case our height uh, H is uh, 16, our base A is 18 and our base uh, B is 14. So let's go ahead and uh, calculate the area of this trapezoid ABCD now. So this is going to be our height uh, is uh, 16 times our A is uh, 18 plus uh, other side is uh, 14 all over 2. And if we simplify that thing, that is going to give us uh, 256 uh, square units. 
So therefore our area of our trapezoid ABCD turns out to be 256 and furthermore our area of trapezoid ABCD is equal to 120 plus 2 times S and now we are going to compare these two equations since both belong to the area of the trapezoid so I can equate these right hand sides so therefore I can write 120 plus 2 times S equals to 200 and 56 and now let's subtract 120 from both sides this is gone so therefore 2 times s turns out to be 136 let's divide both sides by 2 this 2 is gone so therefore our area s turns out to be 68 square units so therefore our this area s turns out to be 68 each and here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. So our, we are going to simply add uh, these two individual areas, 36 uh, plus uh, 68. So therefore, the green region area is going to be 36 plus uh, 68. And if we add the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 104 square units. So therefore the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region uh, turns out to be 104 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.